whether you are a data analyst, a data scientist or you are new to the world of IT. There are few frequent tasks in Excel that we need to do in our day to day job and some of these tasks take lot of time because we don't know the right way of doing it. I have shortlisted 10 of these tasks and I am going to tell you how to do those things quickly and save lot of time in your data analysis journey. Let's do that guys. So guys what we have in front of us is one excel sheet that we are going to analyze okay and we have a set of questions here that we are going to answer from that analysis and in this process we are going to learn the things okay. So first of all average price of BMW cars then top 10 expensive cars then how to write a SQL query using data from Excel some efficiency we will see some pivot table definition and filters we will see okay. So let's start guys uh, first of all first question is find average price of BMW cars okay. So come to this Excel and just click on this and just say data and filter and then in brand just click on BMW and at the moment this is filtered on BMW just click on price column column B okay. At the moment you click on this you will see at the bottom some numbers are showing average count minimum maximum sum etc. So from this only no need to do any analysis if you want to add some more things you can add like this. No need to do any analysis and you can simply give the answer to your manager or whoever you want to give you know to have the minimum maximum and whatever number you want to tell and as I showed you in the ribbon you can add more things and remove things like this okay. And one thing I want to tell you at this point guys as you can see here numbers are coming on the right and text is coming on the left in the model column. The reason for that is um, in Excel right in the world of Excel you will always see number on the right and text on the left that is how you should also keep if you are talking to somebody senior um, this is the way you should put your data okay. And what is the second question let's come here find name of top 10 expensive cars. So what what we want to do we want to see the expensive cars. So let's go ahead and short the data click on short click on which column you want to short price column. What you want to see you want to see largest to smallest right come here short like this. So what you are able to see first 10 cars okay. So these cars will be your expensive cars fine. Now suppose somebody says you give me the name of these expensive cars. So you can come here and create a column car name. This is just the brand name and this is the model name. Okay. So these two things need to be combined. So how to combine you can come here and say concatenate. Okay. Concatenate and you can give your what what you want to concatenate. Okay. So you can say for example I want to concatenate this with this. Okay, so at the moment you say like this it will concatenate name and this thing now this is your concatenation formula. If you want to insert a space in between because model name and car name that that also looks good. So like this you can insert and now you will be able to see a very good result here and you can just double click to drag it. Okay, so what you are able to see you are able to see top 10 expensive cars here. Somebody asked you give me top 10 expensive car so you can take from you know 10 things from the top and let me go here and highlight this in a different color and let me try to show you the another analysis okay. Suppose these are the top 10 cars okay and you want to write a SQL query where you want to do some more investigation on these top 10 cars. So how you will write the queries let me try to show you how you will write the queries you will say select star from some table okay where where uh, let's say car name in and then you need to give let's say first name right that should be in quote because that's a text right. Then you will give second name and blah 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 how many never ever names you want to give. Let me make this language as SQL so that it will be easier for keywords to identify okay like this. Now suppose you want to give many names here so that's a you know comma you need to give quotes you need to give that is not an easy process. Let me show you how to do that easily I do this quite often so I want to show you that. So come here and this is your car name right. So first of all create a comma and then create a column like this. Then what I want to do is I want to concatenate concatenate just like we did before but this time little differently okay. So what we want to do is we want to uh, include the we want to first of all take a single quote because that's a text right single quote then we want to take the name okay 
then we want to take single quote one more time because we want to in the front and back it's a string right and then we want to give a comma okay at the moment you do this there will be a quotes and you will have name with the quotes okay now what you can do you can take top 10 cards from here like this okay and you can go to your query window wherever you are writing your sql query you can remove this and you can give directly this now this is a valid sql query okay so this works in both ways guys this works suppose in python you want to write uh, you know things multiple times so you can copy that in excel and do like this okay you no need to write comma quotes comma quotes like that it will take a lot of time if you do like this it will save your time okay so that's what i'm i'm saying here find most efficient uh, so first three things we have answered fetch data from other table for these cars so those things we have done let's delete these we don't need this okay then it says find most efficient cars so let me go ahead and create a column called efficiency so i will call this column as efficiency of the car and what is the efficiency is how much price i'm i'm paying for how much mileage okay so that number should be lowest so price by mileage okay so this is my mileage this is my price and i will go here and i will just drag this okay and this number should be lowest that is my most efficient car so i will go here and this time i need to short on the efficiency column so i will go to efficiency i will say smallest to largest and as you can see this is my most efficient car because you know uh, i am paying least price for more mileage so you know uh, this is my efficient car now suppose in this only i want to see let's say um, let's let's go here and do some kind of conditional formatting so that will give us more answers so for example if i say um, higher than some number lower than some number between some number those things we can filter here we can set top and bottom so so for example top 10% okay so if i do like this then it will filter top 10% and bottom 10% so top 10% it will filter at the below okay because those those things only will be highest right and bottom 10% it will filter on the top if you do like this so for example if i come here and if i do a cell filter right so it will show you in terms of efficiency the cars which are least efficient so if you come on filter right so these are least efficient car 10% of that okay so top 10% bottom 10% like that you can do okay so let's go here and clear this all these filters and if you want to clear your conditional formatting you have to come here in your home tab come here go to rule and you can say clear rule from selected cells or entire sheet now all the rules are cleared now you will not see any num uh, color filter etc okay so th these are the quick ways to see find most efficient car find most efficient 10 cars or above average below average etc okay now i will show you something really interesting in excel that is known as pivot table okay so what happens in pivot is we are going to insert a pivot table here to get many of the answers for example i'll click on insert and i will say pivot table okay and it will ask me where it wants my pivot table to be created so i'm saying new worksheet okay and table range it is taking by default everything i will just say okay now in this range if i drag in rows brand and price in the values right you will see that it is giving me some of the price for all the cars one by one all the brands okay so my first question is already answered find average price by manufacturer so average means i, I have to make this sum as average so click on this click on value field setting and make make it average okay so you get the average of all the all the cars average price of all the cars that is the first thing you can get here now in the filters you can click on some more things for example in the filter you can say year and in the year you can just click on any year that you want for example 2000 this is like all the filters suppose i want to remove some initial years okay and i want to see the result on some some latest years only you can do like this and here you can insert most interestingly charts as well okay so this becomes your chart now in this chart you can do whatever you want to do so let me extend it little bit more so this pivot plus this chart can give you a lot of interesting things okay so here in place of average of price if i want let's say any other thing you can go to value field setting you can say maximum of price so it will give you which brand is making maximum you know highest expensive cars like that you can click on values and you can do value field setting and change in the filter suppose you want to see for only sedan so you can come here and in the body type you can simply come here and you can choose for example sedan i want to see for only sedan so it will be like this 
and in this suppose you want to change the name okay so you can say sedan car price by brand and then if you want to play around with this multiple options right you can change the charts you can change the you know text and then chart color shadow glow many things you can do to beautify this chart okay so beautification is your is in your hands so come here come click on this you can take this kind of uh, input if you want if it you know if you if you want it more better whatever choice of your color you can do like this right whatever is choice of your color you can do like this and based on however you like the charts right you can create a chart here on the left hand side you can keep adding the filters keep adding the numbers however you want right so here for sedan for other you can create some new one now suppose i want to save this chart so either you can take a snipping tool from here or you can export this chart okay so from this from this pivot table you have answer of all these questions average price after 2012 cars or any year car pivot table what is metric what is filter and what is charts i discussed okay so any any filter you want to add you can add here anything you want to do you can do in the pivot okay and if you double click it will just go to that data like this so just like that i clicked on this it went to this data okay so this is how pivot table works so i hope i gave you a lot of answers on how to do basic data analysis in excel guys if you like the video please go ahead and press the like button and also please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care